Welcome to Yukanic. Uh, today here in Yukanic we have our 2020 Honda Civic. And on this Honda Civic we have a check engine light that's on. We have also on our dash, this one does give us the engine symbol. And it's saying that we have an emissions problem. We are going to read it. We've got the Yukanic scanner, the Yukan 2. Uh, professional scanner. We're at the home screen here. We're going to go into diagnostic. We have the select of the Asian vehicles because that's the one we are working on right now. Honda. And then um, smart VIN. And that will communicate with the vehicle and bring up what the VIN number is. Now we're going to select the control module because we know that we just want to look at the engine control module and not the module, all of the modules on the vehicle at this moment. And then engine control system is now communicating with the vehicle. And now we're going to read the code. And it's saying that the sensor 2 circuit high voltage, and that is a 10-6. And all of these are coming on as, as a permanent. It has been set and it hasn't been able to You'll get a temporary because it was just a fluctuation. Uh, permanent meaning that something has definitely gone gone wrong right so that is a sensor 2 circuit of the high voltage and so now we will go and find that sensor and be able to go over the process to replace it and and then clear out the code like i said there are various sensors on the emission system here um, we have a sensor here we have another sensor here um, and then if you follow it back, we have even more that are on the intake back here. So there are all types of uh, sensors that could be causing some issues. Now with being able to read the codes and then being able to look them up, you can come down to narrow down where you should start looking and maybe what you, the components that you may or may not need to replace. So, this is the sensor that we're looking for. This is sensor two on the, the intake here. And so we're double checking that everything is connected well and that we don't have any signs of critters eating. Of course, it's gonna go back into this. It's got all these other connectors and so forth. But we can start with by maybe that the components inside the sensor have worn out and it's not giving us the proper reading. So squeeze the clamp. On the back side there is the, the squeeze clip to unlock it. And now, with that unlocked, you'll be able to remove this uh, bolt here and then pull out that sensor. This is an eight millimeter. With the, uh, the bolt removed, you should be able to just uh, move the sensor a little bit side to side as we uh, apply pressure in the upward motion to pull it out. This is the sensor that we have been able to remove. This reads uh, temperature readings of the ambient air temperatures that come through the system and uh, to maintain it in a, uh, a certain type of temperature. So sometimes things have malfunctioned inside the, temp the sensor and so you can start by replacing the sensor. If that doesn't completely fix it, then you're gonna have to look and see why are we getting different readings. Maybe these clamps have come undone and so your sensor isn't getting the, the proper pressure and or temperature going past it. So to replace that sensor, you um, just take your new one, put a little bit of oil or whatever on that gasket to be able to, or the O-ring, so that it'll uh, slide in there better and so that you won't pinch that O-ring and cause other issues. Install the eight millimeter bolt and tighten it up. Now we just need that snug and then uh, hook the uh, electric connector back up. And now let's go and clear the code out of the uh, EC. So with the key back in the on position, but the engine not running, we can now clear out the code. So we, we have replaced, and uh, that was uh, ID number 10-6. And so we've gone ahead and replaced that sensor and made a good visual that everything is connected right. And now we can just hit the erase option. Hit yes. Now it'll send it to the code. And now we actually will hear the ECU make a noise, a click noise. So now it's telling us to turn the ignition switch off. 
Once it realizes that you've turned the ignition off, we're going to turn it back on. And it has done a, a system scan real quick, and it is noting that that sensor has been replaced at this moment and is not coming back on. So that is uh, the replacement of that emission sensor on this vehicle at the moment. And now we just run the vehicle, uh, go through your normal paces, and uh, uh, make sure that the light doesn't come back on immediately. And if it doesn't, then that's that was the that sensor at this time potentially fixed fixed it all. Sensors can go bad, as well as other components. The sensors are there to to help us to to be identified. Thanks for watching, Eukenic, where you can be 